so there is this orchard not too far from my home. I pass it almost weekly and yet I had never been inside it until recently. I mean you can clearly see that there are apple trees inside and in the Soviet times I think they might have used it to get fruit for a local cannery or maybe they uh, maybe they bred the uh, trees for uh, home use I'm not sure what I do know is that for the last 20 years it has been just standing here not doing much On this side there are usually some more car parking so you don't necessarily see the fence itself. That will be a plot point. Further on there is like a farmhouse looking house and the fence is getting sturdier. So I have just been passing it week after week wondering how one might get in. Kind of obvious, isn't it? And we're in. The, air, the whole area is not uh, all that big. It's like basically it's, it's one city block or, or maybe two, three blocks together, and you can hear all the normal street sounds and everything. And yet... Seems like somebody has already walked here. A dog at least, or maybe foxes. I would imagine foxes would love this place. And right now I'm approaching the uh, farmhouse site again and I think uh, we might have like a fence within fence situation there. There's some sort of structure there, maybe a well. Oh and back where the tree line goes that's where the houses start again. Uh, there's another street at that end. Meanwhile here... Well... back to the path because who knows maybe somebody else has actually claim on, on the land on this side. street from here as well. Like I said, the area is not even that big. I wonder what's up with the yellow markings though. Looks like maybe some sort of cartography thingy? Possibly? Oh, here's a crossing. I'm gonna explore a little bit, although it seems like somebody's walking their dog over there. I don't want to run into them either. Looks like a milk container that has been used for tar or something. I have no idea. Somebody might have a nest it there. Maybe? I don't know. And then there's this, some sort of concrete thingy. I'm guessing it's covering some sort of uh, hole or, or, or well or something. Huh, the dog went away. Maybe I can continue that way. 
hello. Looks like there maybe used to be a house here as well in the old times. Or maybe they were building a house. And now there's trash. Obviously. And these trees do look like there used to be a uh, garden perimeter or yard here. So I'm guessing old timey small manor and or farm and or center of the uh, of the orchard maybe. <laughs> Where are you going? To north. To the center of the orchard. Doesn't quite have the ominous sound, does it? So yeah, over there is another street that cuts it off uh, from south. Cuts this orchard off from south, I mean. And right now I'm approaching the tree line that cuts the orchard off from the west side. Big trees, standing in formation. This again seems to indicate some old-timey road or, or path to a uh, farm or manor or something. So where does this path lead to? Back to the uh, back to the uh, north side street, I would I would presume, and to the bus stop that's there. And this one seems to turn to north as well after a while. Let's go see. Oh, oh, there's a proper abandoned house here. Well, what do you know? This one's certainly a Soviet time structure because it's uh, made of these uh, uh, cinder block thingies or silicate bricks or whatever. <laughs> well, I'm gonna stick to the respectable distance in case somebody lives in there, dwells in there, but what a magnificent place. I'm gonna head to an exit now, I think. This end, the orchard is a little bit longer on one side than the other. Because over there, you can already see the street cutting into it. But over here, it's gonna carry on for a little while longer. That's where I originally planned to emerge. But, now I say onwards. Hey look, trucks! Don't trust the trucks. So just behind that fence there's normal life and everything. But in here, a little magic kingdom of apples. And let's find a hole in the furniture. So yes, to recap, I've been walking past several corners of this orchard for years, regularly. And only the other day when I was walking my neighbor's dog on this end, did I notice that there are footpaths going in there and that the fence is actually broken in several places. So I went to explore and now you get to see this. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you soon in a proper zone adventure. Also, bonus bunker!